right, today we're going to do some impressionistic painting. Here's a couple of examples that Kiara, my daughter, and I did yesterday. And our daughter Piper is joining us today. And Bryn, my oldest daughter, is manning the camera. Thanks, Bryn. All right, we're going to start by taking a small square of paper and folding it hot dog style to make the vase. Cut out a vase shape. And we've got three different vases out here today to kind of give us an idea of what we'd like to do with sort of interesting patterns on them. And I kind of like the middle one. That's kind of what I'm going to use as my guide. And then open it up. And we'll glue it onto our paper with glue stick. On there and then to add a little more interesting texture we're going to take a paintbrush and just sort of make some streaks kind of like that base I may need to add a little water I don't care to do that oh thank you I found even if I just dip the water in that makes some interesting color smudging it. Just play around with it. Then the next part we're going to do is the stamping. And the technique that I'm trying is I want to create some depth by making dark in the middle. And then I'm going to put light flowers on top. Kiara is doing, her technique is just kind of filling it with color which works great too. Stamping, we're going to take our wax paper. We're going to put three drops on our wax paper right in the middle. A dot there. And I'm going to get the gray over by Kiara. But then when you get that on, you fold it in half and squish it to make a really cool splotch. And then you open it up. And then we're going to so three times stamp that. I take three more drops. So then that kind of gives a dark middle. Now I'm going to stamp with my actual forefront flowers, which I'm doing panicles of flowers like a hydrangea. Grouping and this time instead of grouping all my colors in the middle, I'm going to put them like Kiara likes to call it, ice cream arrangement. And so I'm going to go with in a line right in the middle, I'm going to put a white blotch. And then I'm going to put, you do whatever colors you want, it does not matter at all. I'm going to put a yellow next to the white in a line. And then I'm going to put a pink. Right there. So it looks kind of like Neapolitan ice cream. Hmm without the chocolate. And now I'll squish those together. And I'm going to open it up. I've got my panicle flower. And this one I want to lay down across my vase. It's drooping down like this one, so coming over it. And then you can put them wherever to fill up your, your bouquet. You may want to wait till the middle dries a little or to put your light color on top or you may want to smear it all together and just keep stamping. So that's where we're at. That's where we're headed. Now it's time to make the twigs and the branches. Just like in this one that I did yesterday. And you may want to step back and look. Impressionistic paintings are meant to be looked at from afar. So step back and look and see. Hmm. And I think I can add some branches right now. So I'm going to just sort of streak in some brown lines here and there on my flower stems. Now step back and look and see if you like it. And just keep playing with it. And that's it. Have fun.